high-key style creates a bright, pure, and gentle look. The good thing is, this style is actually very easy to edit. But if not controlled properly, the photo can become overexposed or washed out, looking lifeless. In today's video, I'll share how to keep your image bright and clean, yet natural, while preserving colors and important details. Example 1. Let's take a look at the histogram. This is the luminance histogram, not RGB. It shows the overall distribution of light and dark in the photo. As you can see, most of the data is concentrated in the midtones. That means the image lacks separation and depth. If the midtones are not stretched, the photo will look flat. So how do we make the highlights look cleaner? We'll reduce the highlights and increase the whites. For example, I reduce highlights to negative 100 and increase whites to plus 50. This is just a demonstration. Every photo will require different settings. This image looks a bit dark overall, so I'll go into curves and lift the midtone slightly to brighten it up. Now let's look at before and after. Before, the highlights are flat and dull. After, the whites look cleaner and the skin is bright but still detailed. But when we do this, one issue appears. The colors look faded. Why? Because colors are made of brightness and saturation. When brightness pushes close to pure white, saturation approaches zero. The result, highlights lose their vibrancy. To fix this, we need to bring back a touch of color. You can slightly increase the temperature and white balance. Or in curves, add a midpoint and lift it slightly, adding a little red and a little blue. The lighter the adjustment, the more natural it looks. In calibration, I shift the green primary slightly towards aqua. This makes the skin less yellow and fresher. I can also reduce overall yellow to make the wedding dress look whiter and cleaner. For the background, boosting overall colors makes it too strong. So I use a brush to select only the background. Reduce saturation slightly and add a touch of clarity. This way, the dress and veil pop more clearly. Result, the image looks bright and clean, skin stays natural, the dress is pure, and the background is under control. Example two. Now let's look at the histogram of this photo. The data is concentrated in the highlights, which means it's prone to overexposure. The solution, Reduce highlights to control blown areas. Increase whites for clarity. Lower the color temperature slightly to balance the skin. Increase exposure to brighten the overall image. Lift shadows to recover details in the dark areas. Add a little contrast for depth. Finally, I create a light S-curve, a Japanese film style. It keeps the photo clean and bright while adding soft contrast to make the photo richer in color, I go into calibration, increase the saturation of reds and greens, then in individual color curves. In the red channel, add a touch of red for healthier skin. In the green channel, make a gentle curve for smoother color transitions. Before, after. The photo looks more natural, warmer, and still maintains the high key look. Example 3. For the last example, let's try another photo. Reduce highlights to control overexposed areas. Increase whites for clarity. Boost overall saturation to make colors pop. For this image, I increase white balance towards warm tones. This is personal preference, not mandatory. In calibration, I shift the green primary hue to make the skin slightly pinker, more natural. Then I add a light curve for brightness and softness. Add a little contrast. Before, after. The image looks brighter, warmer, with healthier skin tones, while details remain natural. Remember, the fewer the steps, the cleaner and more repeatable the workflow. High key is not difficult. Just control highlights, whites, and add color carefully, and your photo will always look clean without losing details. If you found this video helpful, 
Please subscribe for more Photoshop and color grading tutorials. See you in the next video.